Now, I've been a wrestling fan since 1998. And what I've noticed about wrestling a lot nowadays is I, I kind of have this idea that they're stealing a lot of storylines from the past. According to these two storylines right here. These are these are a couple storylines right here that I feel that they've got... Like, I, I feel they just kind of want to make us think, believe the past never happened, you know? Like, there's a, there was the Triple H, Kurt Angle, Stephanie Love Triangle. Then there's the CM Punk, AJ, C, um, Daniel Bryan Love Triangle. Now, the first thing I went, that went to my mind when this was happening was, yeah, I've seen this storyline before in the year 2000. Even when I was in third grade in the year 2000, I remember this storyline. Basically, Kurt Angle kissed Stephanie McMahon and... They were acting like buddies, whatever, and she was, she was going to be Kurt Angle's manager and whatnot. And basically, it kind of relates to this storyline here with AJ, CM Punk, and Daniel Bryan. Now, this is kind of a late topic. I mean, I've done this. This is kind of late to talk about. But this storyline here, is so, it's so, it relates so much to the storyline from the past. The only difference is, the only difference in this storyline was AJ didn't marry Daniel Bryan, which is me a GM, which recently got fired. But, um, basically... In a way, I would say that this storyline here is CM Punk, AJ, Daniel Bryan, Love Triangle. It's one of those storylines that was stolen from the past, but they kind of just mixed it up a little bit, you know. The Stephanie, Triple H, and, you know, Kurt Angle, Love Triangle. I, I mean, Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon took Kurt Angle's side after, you know, Kurt Angle basically, you know, beat the crap out of Triple H on SmackDown, and they had a match at Unforgiven, and Triple H beat Kurt Angle. But, um, but yeah, I just, and then CM Punk defeated Daniel Bryan for, in, a, in a WWE title match at, I think it was Over the Limit. I think, I think that was, a, or, I think it was either Over the Limit or Money in the Bank. One of the two pay-per-views. All I remember is, these two storylines have similarities I, re I remember from the past. And that's all I wanted to say about that storyline. I believe that storyline was stolen from the past writers of the WWF at the, at the time. It was called the WWF. And this other storyline here, um, well, not really, it's not really a storyline, but it's an event that happened, basically. Like, big Show. At the first, this happened on SmackDown in 2003, I think. Brock Lesnar suplex Big Show off the ring, and the ring collapsed on SmackDown. I remember that pretty well. It's a pretty big moment. Then it happens again in 2000 and... I think 2011. The Big Show suplex marks Mark Henry off the rope, and the ring collapsed. I mean, this, this could happen again, I guess. But it just wasn't that surprising to me. Because I'm seeing a lot of storylines that, you know, have happened before. See in the picture there, this is these storylines kind of storylines and events have happened in the in the WWE before. I just have this feeling that the writers are getting kind of lazy. They don't know what to talk about anymore. They're running out of ideas. And they want to shock everybody, but using past and using you know past storylines to do it. But me being a wrestling fan for so long, I I've seen these storylines. I've seen these this stuff happen before, and it's not that surprising. It's funny how your memory in wrestling is. How much you really remember watching the WWE back in 2001, 2000. I was in third grade. And I remember in fourth, th third and fourth grade. And I still remember a lot of this stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. But yeah, all I'm saying is I feel these storylines are stolen from the past. And that's, and that's another reason why wrestling isn't getting that interesting anymore. But these are just two of the topics.